What's up everyone, in this video we are going over your Upwork title and tags. I'm going to show you how to set a title and tags that will help you get found and stand out from other freelancers, so if that's what you're looking for, keep watching. For those who don't know me, I'm Lex DeVille, and on this channel, we help people escape corporate prison and build a freelance empire. We share lots of freelance and freelance writing tips and tutorials, so if you're new, consider subscribing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at your Upwork profile to figure out what is a good title and also what are good tags for you to use for your position. So whatever you put in, yesterday we talked about getting approved on Upwork, and I kind of walked you through what I think will get you onto the platform. You had to pick a title, you had to pick some tags for your skill. You can change that now at any time. And that's why there's reason to do this video today. So since you can change your skill and your, your information once you're on the platform, it's totally fine. That's not something Upwork will give you problems for. I've never had any problems doing that. And I've changed my skill a thousand times by now, probably. So we're looking at my profile here. You can see we're kind of on the back end. First thing you'll probably notice is I have two profiles. I have a brand strategy profile and a general profile. A quick note on those, while Upwork allows me that because I have this top rated status, it's actually docking my, my uh, search rank a little bit. So I'm actually going to remove this profile later, but I want you to know that you can have a secondary profile on your main profile. It's just not, uh, it's not gonna help you rank as well. Now, we're gonna start with looking at my title. So I have NLP copywriter in my title, and that is something that is, the copywriter is the high level industry. So you need to start with a high level industry. What is that gonna be for you? I don't know, but it really doesn't matter as long as you are willing to get in there and sell yourself, which we'll talk about in an upcoming video. You can make plenty of cash on Upwork and you don't have to get low pay. But for me, that skill, my core skill is copywriting. So I put in copywriter, but then I need a way to niche, niche down a little bit into something that not everyone else is going to have. So I chose NLP because that's a skill that very few people have and even fewer people can do effectively. So it makes me stand out to the people who would want that. Uh, I, don't, I don't leave this skill in there all the time. I change it regularly to test different titles, and that might be something that's valuable for you. But just know that what you want here is the industry. You want to identify the industry, and you also want to identify a niche, niche within the industry. Man, I'm getting tongue-tied on that word this morning. A niche within the industry. So what you don't want to do here is have a whole bunch of freaking words. There are... What I see most often is people just fill up this space. They're, the idea is to try and capitalize on a whole bunch of different keywords and rank for different keywords in search results. But in my experience, that doesn't work very well. And what ends up happening is you don't rank for any keywords. You end up just not getting found. So if I had, let's say, NLP copywriter, comma, blog writer, comma, SEO specialist, that's not gonna get me found. Even though it's got several keywords, it's not gonna get me found because there's nothing clearly targeted. It's not clear to Upwork's algorithms what I do. So I wanna have something that I can build my profile around so that Upwork knows, hey, this is what this guy does. In search results, we need to promote that guy as that thing. So another way that you wouldn't wanna do this, you don't wanna be super creative here. You don't wanna be an NLP copywriting ninja who chucks throwing stars at words. I don't know, just something like that. I could try and be as creative as I want, but that's not gonna get me found. Even though it's got NLP copywriter in there, all these extra words just kind of jumble the algorithms for some reason, I don't know why. Um, oops. Yeah, so I'll save that. Mine is an LP copywriter. So how are you going to do this for yourself? First, you need to identify the industry that you're in. What category are you? Are you a copywriter? Are you a web designer? Are you a social media specialist? Are you a virtual assistant? Are you customer service? Are you a sales representative? What do you do and what industry does it fall within? The second thing you need to do is identify your niche. So NLP copywriter could just as easily be direct response copywriter. Oops, I don't need that word. That would be fine. Um, having direct response in there is gonna be totally fine. Likewise, I could put creative copywriter. 
these are words that clients are searching for. So we want to have stuff in there that clients are searching for, and we want to build our profile around those limited that limited keyword so that Upwork knows exactly what we do. If we were a web designer, we might be a, let's say, an industrial web designer, okay? We might be a WordPress web designer. Notice I'm keeping all these words to under four. Uh, whenever I've had four or more words in here, actually, I'm going to say five or more. You could go up to four, but five or more words in this box, and you start to lose rank, and you start to have more trouble getting found. At least that's my experience. If you're a social media person, you could be a brand social media manager. That would be fine. It's up to four. I think that's fine. But you wouldn't want to go over that. So that's the key thing here. You want to identify that industry and then you want to have a niche within the industry because that's going to help you get found because that's what clients are searching for. Clients aren't searching for super awesome NLP copywriting ninja. That's not how they search. They just type in NLP copywriter or they type in NLP copywriting or something similar to that and that's how you get found. They type in WordPress web designer in the search box and that's how you get found. And you can even see this. I've been testing NLP copywriter for a few days now. I will switch over to my client account real quick and just type it in. NLP copywriter. Let's see what pops up. All right, so here's what we got. One, two, three, there I am, top three. So I'm ranking in the top three for this skill. And what's important to notice here is that my special profile is actually showing up. It's saying I've only earned 10K and it's showing my brand, uh, my brand strategy profile, which that's not what I want. And this is an example of this ranking lower because of my brand strategy profile, that second profile in there. Normally, NLP copywriting would get me to the top of this list but it's not doing that because it's picking up, for some reason, the alternate profile. Anyway, the point is I'm still at the top because I have a very targeted and clear title here. And when somebody types this in, if you're searching for NLP copywriter and you go down and you find this guy right here, content generator, author, and brand ambassador. Look, he does these three different things, but he's not targeted for this. And there's no telling why he shows up here. Same thing with this person, writer, editor. Nothing here to tell me that this person can do the thing that I'm looking for them to do. And also, they don't have as good of job success. So you come down here to the third person, and it's this guy who's an NLP copywriter, and he's got higher rates, and he's got 10000 earned, and he's got 100% job success, and the picture's starting to add up that clearly I'm the right person. I mean, if you just looked at these four people, who are you going to pick for NLP copywriting? Well, there's only one clear choice. So I'm going to go back over to my profile now. And we will, I guess, just keep thinking about that. Be thinking about it for yourself for now. What industry are you in? And then what niche are you in? Because the niche you pick is going to matter. If you pick direct response copywriter, you're still going to have a hard time getting found because there's so many people who are using that word. And there's just so many people to compete with, people who have a lot of money earned. But if you pick something that's niched down a little bit, whether that's the coaching industry, it's fitness, it is health, it is finance, it, it could be gaming. There's so many different niches that people are looking for work on Upwork. It could be cannabis. That's a good one right now. If you do that, if I had cannabis copywriter, that's going to get me a lot of work because there's a lot of people out there looking for that. You could also go more offline like automotive copywriter or elevator repair copywriter. Scrolling down to my tags, that's the next thing I wanted to talk about is my skill tags down here. So the main thing to know about your skill tags is that they need to be consistent and they need to be closely related. When you look at my tags, you've got copywriting, neurolinguistic programming, website copywriting, sales copywriting, funnel copywriting, email copywriting. It's all types of copywriting and then one word that identifies the niche, which is NLP. So whenever this is in here, it's helping me get found in my search results. So you don't want to have a bunch of different items in here. I wouldn't want to have copywriting, brand strategy, email marketing. Those are all, those are too different. I want them to all be around that core skill and industry. Copywriting, neurolinguistic programming is for the NLP, but then website copywriting, sales copywriting, it's all got copywriting in the word. So that's how you're going to pick your tags when you go in here. You don't need to have, don't, there's no point trying to capture every little thing. If you try to be 
everything to everyone, you're going to be nothing to anyone and you're not going to get found. And this is the number one mistake probably that I see freelancers make every day. They're just like so worried about not not picking the right skill or not getting found for their skill that they just try to go for all the skills and hope something sticks. But that's a fast way to not get picked up for work because the clients who come to Upwork, they're not looking for people who can just do anything. They're not looking for employees. They're looking for specialists. They're looking for experts. And that's why when you make it very, very clear that you are an expert, you will get found and you will get hired. So especially, you know, this isn't just about people finding you in search results. Whenever I have NLP copywriter in here, if I apply to a gig where it says they need an NLP copywriter or someone who has experience in that area, don't you think I'm going to stand out more when they see my profile? And it c creates this whole picture of this person who is an NLP copywriter. Same thing if I had brand copywriter or, again, WordPress web designer or funny, funny web designer. I don't know. Whatever you want to put in there, that's your niche. You should definitely try and test different ones. Uh, whenever you test these, when you're testing a niche, you should always leave that niche in there for at least three days, I would say three to five days to see if you can rank for it. So if you, if after three to five days, you can go into your client account on Upwork and search for it and find that you are showing up in search results, you are doing a good job and you've probably picked a good one. Now, one thing to keep in mind whenever you're setting your niche is that clients aren't going to be searching for every single thing you use. So if clients aren't searching for it, you're not going to get found. Even if it's a good niche, even if you are showing up in search results, clients aren't going to find you if they're not searching for that skill. So you have to kind of think, what are clients searching for? And then also, what is a good niche in the first place? If you can bring those two things together, you can get found more easily, you can get more recommended jobs from Upwork. And whenever you send your proposals off, of course, they are going to be more targeted. And that is going to help you get noticed, stand out, get the interview and hopefully ultimately get hired. So I really hope this has helped you out because those two key, those two areas are really key. Getting your niche right, getting your industry in there, you need to identify those two things. You don't need to identify anything else, just the niche, the industry, and then your tags that are going to be relevant and related, closely related, so that Upwork knows this is what you do. This is the thing you do. You are an active campaign email marketing specialist. You are a creative virtual assistant. You are a phone sales representative. Whatever that thing is for you. You could be a an inbound marketing specialist or an outbound marketing specialist. Whatever it is. So just put it in there. Niche down. Industry. And then closely related tags so that Upwork knows what you do and they can start to rank you for it. By the way, assuming that this is working, uh, mine I've had NLP copywriter in here a couple days. I don't know how the brand the alternate brand strategy profile is going to affect this. But if we go over to Google and we type in NLP copywriter, what we should find is that I show up on this page. Now, this is a hard one to rank for on Google because there's already people trying to sell this skill, at least one person, lots of people talking about it. But if we scroll down, we find here's an Upwork link, top 10 NLP sales copywriting freelancers for hire in March 2019. So if somebody was looking to hire, this would be a relevant link. They click on that top 10 and what pops up is we should find me right there at the top. So it's still using the incorrect profile, but I am ranking within their top 10. It's very clear that based on my skills, my tags, and what I have listed, my niche, that I am the person to go to for that thing. So if anyone comes through there, they're finding me and they're going to click on me because none of these other people down here look like they are a match and they haven't clearly targeted the the word that I'm trying to target here. So maybe they rank for theirs. I don't know. I, I doubt it with all this extra stuff that they put in there. I doubt that they're ranking for anything, but they do have, some of these people do have a niche at least, mini chat messenger marketing expert. So that is a niche. And if that guy is actually getting found for that, then maybe he's doing all right. I don't know. But in my experience, four words or less, very clearly targeted and very closely related skills tags. That's what's going to help you get found in search results, both on Google and on Upwork so that you get more clients reaching out to you. All right. So that's all I've got for this one. I really hope this helped you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them in the, the comments down below. If you're watching this on the Fastlane forum, you can post a response in the, the thread and I'll respond to that as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Lex DeVille. 
and I will see you in the next lesson.